Tired of the brown, dead default landscape of Fallout 4? Think plants should have taken over the Commonwealth in the 200 years since the bombs dropped? Well, if you want your Fallout to look like this, I'll show you how. I'm assuming if you've come to this video, you saw this gift too. Hey, what's up guys? Trex here, and I'm going to show you how to make your Fallout 4 look like this. Now, there's two mods that you're going to need, first of all. You're going to need the Resurrection mod, link in the description, and the Grasslands mod. Basically, what this does is it makes Fallout 4 a Grasslands instead of a Wasteland. What the Resurrection does is it makes all the textures sort of green and covered in plant life that would have taken over in the 200 years since the bombs dropped, giving it a more realistic approach. Now there's a third optional mod you can get called the Photorealistic Commonwealth mod. It's fairly simple to install, but you should only get it if you have a pretty beefy PC. Since I have a 960, I will not be showing you how to do this. Anyways, the first step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download the Resurrection and Grasslands mods. The links will be in the description, so just head to those web pages and download the man click the download manual links. Now, Resurrection is quite a huge file, so it could take some time to download as it is 756 megabits, but just leave it for a couple minutes and when you come back it should be done. Once the mods have been downloaded, drag them out to your desktop or wherever you store your Fallout 4 mods so that you can find them easily later. Now open up the Nexus Mod Manager, select Fallout 4 in the Options menu, and then when you get to this screen, click the green plus arrow, go to where the mods are located, and add them both. They will appear in the unassigned folder, and it'll take a little while for the Resurrection mod to be registered, as it is quite a large file. Once the two mods are loaded, enable them both by clicking the green plus or green check once you've clicked on them. Okay, after about six minutes or so, both mods should have finished unpacking. Now you can move them from the unassigned folder into whichever folder you want, or you can just leave them. So once they're all moved around and you're happy, you can launch Fallout 4. So now if you take a look around, your Fallout world has been completely taken over by plants. You've got the roads covered in ivy, the fields are green instead of brown and dead, there's life in the trees. The world is so much more alive and so much more green. It just adds to the game so much. So once again, here's a side-by-side -side of the original vanilla and the resurrection mod. And as you can see, the game looks incredible. So I hope this helped you guys out, figuring out the Resurrection mod and all. And I'll see you all next time. But goodbye.